Hey everyone, Techno Manager here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to check if a MacBook is real. We're going to go through some of the steps that you want to check out, some tips on spotting a real MacBook versus a fake. So let's get started. So here I have a real MacBook, but I'm going to show you ways to check if a MacBook is real now, especially if you are first time getting one. So first thing you want to verify is up top here, you'll see an Apple logo here. And you're going to click on about this Mac and about this Mac will display this information, which will have basically a serial number attached to it. Now this is on Big Sur. The UI might change on a newer version. So if it doesn't show exactly like that, that's what don't worry about. So you're going to copy that and then you're going to go to basically any browser and just let's go ahead and open up a browser, right? And here you're going to search up Apple serial number check, basically Apple serial number lookup. When you do that, it's going to take you to the site called checkcoverage.apple.com where you can put in a serial number of any device and check its authenticity on their website. So we're going to take that and then type in that code that pops up, write this, write that code. I'm going to hit submit here and it should give us information about this MacBook, things that size, processor and the date and when it was purchased as well. These are the information you want to come up. Now, if it doesn't come up with that valid serial number, it might be something might be off there. So you want to check that. And then you want to compare that, right? That information. So we're going to let's compare that info with this Mac. We're going to verify that it says the same exact thing on here. So as you can see here, M1, that's right, 13 inch 2022 model. So that all checks out. So that's going to be first check. Now, the next check we want to go ahead and do, it's going to be the build quality of it. So this one, you have to inspect it. You're going to look for certain things about a MacBook, which comes in. If you ever used or have held a MacBook, you'll notice the weight, the tr big trackpad that they have. Uh, some of the newer MacBook will have this LED strip, not all. And you're going to look at the sides and the keyboard as well. And then the logo here, you should see a shiny, usually a logo just like that. And the build quality is very slim, thick. And then the other thing to check for is the ports here on the side here. So what you'll do is Google search that same model and then look for how that looks like the real one on Apple's site and compare it with the physical aspect of it. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you could do is use this quick little trip. What you're going to do is go to the spotlight search and you're going to search up terminal. So you're going to search up this word terminal. Right? It's going to open up something like this. Now, don't get too scared. All you're going to do in here is type this specific command, which I'm going to show you. It's going to be system underscore profile space SP hardware data type and hit enter. When you do that, it just gives you an overview of the hardware of this MacBook. And we want to verify with that same thing we saw where we're going to make sure it says whatever the chip it is using, how many gigs, all of that matches this about page this way. We can validate that whatever the system sees here, it matches up that information here and storage wise as well. So that's a good quick way to check. So this should work for you. Now the next check you want to check is the MacBook has this app store. App store is a unique way to download app and install them on, on any Apple devices. If you have an iPad, iPhone, you'll know that. And in here, you want to make sure that you can sign in here. I'm signed in, but you want to go ahead and sign in. And then you can go ahead and find apps here. So you can search for it. And if it takes you to a Google store or some Play Store, that MacBook is not real. So that's going to be another check as well for you. Now, after you have done that, another way also checking is in the app logo here in system preferences, there should be also a way to sign in here. It'll say sign in. I'm already signed in, but you should be able to sign into an Apple account if it is a thing. And the last final thing you're going to want to do is reboot that MacBook here to see if you see the Apple logo appear. So here I'm going to go ahead and restart from the top here and tap on restart. And, and when I restart it, it's just shut, shut down just like that. And what I'm going to be looking for here is that when it turns back on, I see an Apple logo appear with the loading icon. Again, any Apple devices, when it loads up, comes up with that Apple logo. So you want to make sure it comes up with the Apple logo loads just like this. And that's going to be proving that it is a genuine also Apple logo. And then once you go back and it should take you to the main screen or might ask you for a password. And this is also a good way to check if there's a password or anything attached with it. They need to know 
because especially if you're buying a pre-owned one or if you're getting it for someone, it's going to help you. you know, as you can see here, it's going to take you a menu like this and then you're going to enter your uh, password if you know that and then get back on. And that's how you can check pretty much if a MacBook is real or not. I hope these tips help you. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your MacBook and other Apple devices. We'll see you guys next time.